Detroit Assurance is the name of a new safety system from Daimler Trucks North America. It's designed to mitigate the impact of a rear-end collision, but it can help in preventing a collision too. When it's not keeping your butt out of trouble, it also helps improve fuel economy. You hear the brake firing collision warning? Hi, I'm Jim Park. This episode of today's Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive comes to you from Miami, Florida. We're out here in sunny Florida on the Florida Turnpike today. We're testing the Detroit Assurance Collision Mitigation System. This is designed to uh, slow the truck down before it gets in too close to an object that's in front of it, or if you're going in way too fast, it'll slow you down to, uh, to minimize the damage in the event of a rear end collision. We're gonna be testing this system with a little silver Mercedes uh, follow car, and we're in total communication with the car, so it knows what we're doing, and we know, we know what it's doing. What you'll see is the car pull in front of us, and the brake lights will come on, and then you'll hear the engine brake come onto the truck, if it requires enough stopping power in order to maintain that distance or to, to mitigate a rear end collision. You'll also see the service brakes apply here. You'll hear the thump and you'll probably see my head dip forward as we you know, get hard onto the brakes in order to uh, slow the truck down before we have a collision. Detroit Assurance uses a forward looking radar based system to scan an area more than 600 feet out in front of the truck. It can track about 40 metallic objects in its path. Daimler Trucks tells us it refreshes its speed, distance, and time calculations about 200 times every second, so its reaction time is very quick. It'll ignore objects outside the lane width path and vehicles that are moving faster than the truck. There are three parts to the system. The first is called Adaptive Cruise Control. It's designed to maintain a preset following time from any vehicle ahead of the truck when the system is engaged, which is any time the cruise control is on. The second part is called Active Brake Assist. It's always on and works alongside adaptive cruise control by applying the engine or service brakes as needed to help maintain that space cushion. The third part of the system is an optional lane departure warning system. We'll have more on that a bit later. Active brake assist is the main part of the safety system. It delivers four response levels to a perceived threat, varying with the difference in speed between the truck and the target. If the speed differential is small, a visual warning appears in the in-dash display. If the threat persists, the system will beep to alert the driver to a possible collision. If the truck comes up quickly on the target, the active brake assist will de-throttle, apply the engine brake and possibly the service brakes. It can use up to 100% of the truck's braking capacity trying to stop if it's needed. If preventing a collision isn't possible, at least the truck will be going much slower when the collision occurs, thus mitigating the threat to life and damage to the vehicle. Let's have a look at these two systems in action. First, the adaptive cruise control. Okay, so in just a second, you're gonna see a little gray car come up from our left-hand side and cut in front of us. And uh, it's gonna slow down. Here he comes over, putting the brakes on. Now the system's responding, slowing us down, hitting a fairly aggressive brake there. Just dropped us from 60 down to 52 or three. And now he's decided uh, to get out of the way and move on. So the truck is gonna maintain 3.5 second following distance, open up that space cushion, and then as the car begins to accelerate, the truck's going to follow. Here we go right now, start powering up. So we're just coming up through 55, gaining some speed here, coming back up to 60. Oh, we're holding at 58, so I guess he's going to hold at 58, but we're still going to maintain that distance. And now, active brake assist. Here we go, we've got the brakes. You can hear the brakes firing here. There's the warning, collision warning. It comes right up on the dashboard. And if you happen to be looking out the right-hand mirror, you know, watching traffic on the right when somebody did something like that to you, uh, that little beep and the, uh, the brake application really gets your attention in a hurry. You know, brings you right around to see what's going on. It's like in a system like this, it's not designed to uh, take away any of the sort of driver's safety responsibilities, i.e. braking and maintaining distance, but, you know, for those moments that, uh, you know, you may be looking elsewhere, i.e. out the right-hand mirror when some four-wheeler does a stunt like that, it's sure nice to know this system's got your back in terms of, uh, you know, responding 
to that potential threat uh, in a way that you may not be able to if you happen to be looking off in the other direction. He got a collision warning beep out of the truck on one other occasion. Here's a sequence that shows how the active brake assist function works even when the adaptive cruise control system is turned off. Active brake assist, you'll recall, is always on. So I'm on the throttle pedal right now. The cruise control is off. And you can see we're actually gaining on this car. If I get up too close to it with the cruise control off, it now is just taking the power away. So I can't accelerate anymore. What happened there was I got up a bit too close to the Mercedes because I didn't have the cruise control engaged and so the adaptive cruise control system couldn't maintain the space cushion for me. But the active brake assist system kicked in as it's designed to do and attempted to stop the truck before we hit the Mercedes. However, my professional driver instincts intervened first. No, we're just kidding, my feet were not taped to the floor while I was driving. It's just that it was really difficult for me not to react to those situations and let the system do what it was designed to do. Brad Williamson, our co-pilot and test advisor, wagged his finger at me more than a few times for applying the brakes too soon and spoiling the demonstration. At least we're still here to laugh about it. There's a third component to the Detroit Assurance Safety System, an optional lane departure warning system. It uses a windshield mounted camera that detects the painted lines on the road. I'm going to show you a little demonstration now of the lane departure system. I'm going to drift slightly over to the right and you're going to hear that ticking sound coming from the speaker on the right hand side of the cab. There it goes, you hear it now. I'm looking in the mirror, my wheels are just on the white line, so it picks it up pretty quickly. I'm going to come back over here again. You've also got the option of turning this off if you're you know, on a twisty windy road or something now, so I'm going to turn the system off. Now if I drift over across the lane a little bit without using the turn signal, I don't get the warning. And it'll stay off for about 15 minutes and then come back on again automatically if I don't, uh, if I don't turn it on again first. And that's the basics of Detroit Assurance. Adaptive cruise control, active braking and lane departure warning. But that's not all the system can do for you. Check out part two of our Detroit Assurance series. It's called All That and Fuel Economy 2 and will demonstrate how the system can help reduce fuel consumption and make driving in heavy traffic a whole lot easier on the nerves. From Miami, Florida, I'm Jim Park for Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive. Drive safe and keep your revs down.